Hello viewers, wish you happy Deepavali. Today I am going to tell you about tomato fertigation recipe for hydroponic cultivation. For the benefit of tomato growers in the poly house, I am going to show you the recipe. So, first we are dividing uh, two tanks, A tank and B tank. So, in the A tank, so calcium nitrate 10.6 kg and this A, tank A for 100 liters water. 100 liters water which has uh, you know, EC of below 1 and pH of uh, around 5.5. .5. So, calcium nitrate 10.6 kg, potassium nitrate. Uh, this is 13045, 2.3 kg, iron E double DHA 6%, 140 grams, manganese EDTA 13%, 42.3 grams, zinc EDTA 15%, 21.8 grams, copper EDTA 15%, 3.2 grams, calcium chloride anhydrous solution 600 grams. So, next tank B, 100 liters water. Potassium nitrate 2 kg, potassium sulphate 3.5 kg, potassium sulphate is 0050, it's also called as sulphate of potash. Mono potassium phosphate 050 to 34, 1.7 kg. Magnesium sulphate which, con uh, which contains 16% magnesium in the form of magnesium oxide, 5.9 kg. Mono ammonium phosphate MAP 12610, 300 grams. Borax 11.3% boron, 28.7 grams and sodium molybdate 39.6 percent 1.2 grams so what is the media here the media used is inert substrate this inert substrate can be cocoa chips cocoa peat meant for substrate cultivation rock wool some places people use rock wool and wood ashes and some of the countries they use burnt rice husk as a media this here this this solution is meant for this inert substrate these are all the inert substrates then pH, we should have a pH, we should maintain a pH of 5.5 to 6. So even 5.2, 5.3 is also better. Why? Because uh, uh, most of the micronutrients dissolve and absorb at this pH. Then what should be the EC? So the stack EC should be 2.2 millisiemen per centimeter. At flowering stage, 2.4 millisiemen per centimeter. And fruiting stage, 2.6 millisiemen per centimeter. The EC in the slab or in the grow bag is called root zone. So, when you uh, 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 take the fistful of cocoa pit and squeeze it and uh, check the EC, that is called root zone EC. The EC which is around the root zone is called root zone EC. Should not go more than 4 millisiemen. So, the root zone uh, should uh, we can maintain up to 4 millisiemen uh, in the root zone for tomato. So, now when it comes to the PPM solution, so uh, uh, PPM. So, this sodium chloride and bicarbonates should be less than 35 in the nutrient solution so then what should be our target ppm if you see the target ppm of nitrate uh, nitrogen in the form of ammonical nitrogen 17 ppm nitrate nitrogen 190 ppm and phosphorus 47 ppm k 30, 371 ppm calcium 216 ppm Magnesium 58 ppm, sulfur 141 ppm, zinc 327 ppb parts per billion, iron 840 ppb, copper 48 ppb, boron 324 ppb, manganese 550 ppb and molybdenum 48 ppb. So what's the difference between ppm and ppb? ppm is parts per million and ppb is parts per billion. 1 milligram in 1 liter of water will give 1 ppm. 1 milligram in 100 liters of water will give 1 ppb parts per billion. So all these micronutrients if you see in the system are used in a grams. Grams and all other macro elements uh, NPK, calcium, magnesium we use in good quantities in kilos. So how to, uh, convert, how to uh, calculate ppm? I am going to tell you the simple uh, for formula for calculating the ppm. So to come to a ppm, let us say we want to calculate a ppm of one element. So there is a simple formula, ppm is equal to grams of fertilizer into grade of the fertilizer into correction factor 10 divided by number of liters of water. So take calcium nitrate for example. So we want to, uh, 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 we want to calculate a ppm of n. 
for example so here let's say we want to calculate ppm of n in calcium nitrate what let's say we are using calcium nitrate 10.6 kg and in calcium nitrate it can calcium nitrate contains both calcium as well as nitrate so we want to uh, calculate what is the percentage of uh, uh, n if you are using what what is that n uh, n ppm so now if you see grams of fertilizer is calcium nitrate 10.6 kg that means 10600 grams okay and uh, uh, grade of fertilizer means in calcium nitrate we have calcium of uh, calcium percentage is 15 uh, 15.5 and nitrogen is 14.4 so in that nitrogen percentage is 14.4 n n is 14.4 and the 10,600 grams into correction factor 10 divided by number of liters of water. So if you divide uh, number of liters, the final dilution will be 10,000 liters of water. So here we are using the stock solution. This stock is 100x means 1 liter in 100 liters. This is 100, final dilution is 100x. 1 liter of A in 1 liter of B, we, this is our concentrated stocks this 100x so this is stock solution for 100 final dilution is 100 times more so here 10000 liters so if you 14.4 10600 grams and correction factor 10 divided by 10000 liters we get a n this is the 152 ppm of n is present in this and if you see here what is the ppm requirement let's say now i calculated only for nitrate nitrogen so ammonical nitrogen if you see 152 here you see here nitrate nitrogen is 190 so uh, there are other uh, source of nitrogen also for example here mono ammonium phosphate you can calculate grams of fertilizer mono ammonium phosphate you want to calculate uh, 12 and then uh, uh, they also n is added n has a different sources calcium nitrate mono ammonium phosphate uh, 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 is also there. it also has n so potassium nitrate also has n so if you adds to finally thing nitrate nitrogen and ammonical nitrogen uh, this ppm we can easily calculate this formula by using this formula we can usually calculate uh, the ppm of all the 12 elements this is a reference range uh, of the ppm this should be the range range of ppm so so that the plants can absorb all the nutrients so that they don't show any deficiencies below this Below the uh, below these values of ppm, plants will show nutrient deficiency, and above this, we are going to lose lot of money on the fertilizer. That's why we have to ma maintain in the range of this ppm level. So with this, I hope uh, I have made an effort uh, uh, to share little of knowledge for the benefit of hydroponic growers of tomato. Thank you.